What is up, guys? It is your boy, Main Mania. And it's been a while. I know. I know. It's been a while. But ladies and gentlemen, we're back with another episode of MK Mobile. Hopefully your matches have been going well. I feel like I'm pretty behind in this tower, but it's because we didn't make any of the previous boss fights. It's a normal tower. You know what I mean? It's a normal tower. The fights up to 200 were a breeze. And now we are at the top of the tower with battle 200. So I didn't really sit there and analyze the equipment and look at everything and all. I didn't do all of that. You know what I did do? Instead, what I did do was I just copied my build from the fatal sorceress tower that just ended right before the twisted tower. So at the end of the day, we're just going to rock with the same boss, but we're not going to do anything crazy here. There's a Quan Chi here. I wanted classic Liu Kang on my team. So classic Liu Kang could get that kill on the Quan Chi. And I'm not really sure if um, these guys are going to be causing poison. It looks like they're not. They're just going to be immune to dots as they always are. Um, so at the end of the day, um, there really isn't a need for MK11 Jade and MK11 Scorpion. They were there in the Fatal Tower because of the poison dot that was consistent throughout the match. So they would get free heals from it. So everyone on my team is resistant to poison and Classic Liu Kang is immune to dots. So at the end of the day, if that was a problem, this team would be a perfect counter for that. But that is not the case. We're still going to use them, though, because I don't have time to change my team. So what are we running? Classic Liu Kang is going to get our epics. And he's going to get Resting Stars uh, Puff for luck. Jade is going to get um, Snare Potential plus a little bit of Power Drain. And then Classic, I'm sorry, MK11 Scorpion is going to get our remaining pieces and some crit chance. So um, I don't know how difficult this battle is going to be, but hey, listen. let's see what we can do with it here. I actually forgot to change my talent tree to a boss talent tree. So I am going to suffer from crit damage boost and crit chance boost and uh, stuff like that. I'm just using my base talent tree right now. Probably not the biggest, like, you know, deal breaker in the world, but... Let's see what we can do. We're going to start off with Classic Liu Kang. We're going to bring in... Hopefully we can get that luck. Okay, we got luck. We'll keep him in for as long as we have luck. Then we'll swap to MK11 Scorpion. And we're just going to one-two with those two. Oh, crap. You little shit, mate. All right, this is what we're going to do. Yeah, the Varan Jacket is going to make uh, it very difficult to get some uh, successful chains in. I'm not sure if they all have it. I didn't take a look at their equipment. Scorpion's damage feels a little bit low. And there goes that. So we're going to cause some cripple. I don't want you using that special 2 in healing. Um, I don't want you using your special 2 either. I'm going to stun. Then cripple. Beautiful damage right there. Of course you're going to dodge that. Of course. Of course. We want to re-cripple. Re Hopefully we get the 90% there. We did. That will give me a cripple. I don't want you healing either. All right. We'll get some chains in here. See what we can do. Cripple. Once again, the goal is to make sure they don't get that special two off. You don't want... I don't want him getting a shadow. And I don't want Shang Tsung getting a whatchamacallit. Thought that would have got the kill. We're going to try to... Mm, well, this isn't good. This isn't good. They both have x-rays as well. I want to sacrifice my jade at this point. Right now, I'm just literally trying to take away his shield. Now we cripple. Special two. Lethal? Nope. Don't gag. I'm using a special one to buy time here. It's not going to get the kill, but it's going to buy time so that I can bring in. Whatchamacallit. 11 seconds left. Um, We're going to probably stick with Scorpion. 
Oh, there it goes. Heals. I pressed the button. It didn't register, though. It wouldn't have done much damage anyways. It was a special one. A special one is not too great. But there we have it. Round one. Um, Not bad. I think it went pretty well. It went fairly well. Fairly well. I think that's a more accurate analysis of it. Fairly well. I personally think it's possible I could have done this in one. If they didn't get so many Dur uh, Varan Jacket dodges. Uh, the Varan Jacket dodges hurt me a lot. I lost like four specials to them. Three to four specials. And very strong specials at that. So um, that's the Varan Jacket. Supposed to be 35%. We all know better. It's not 35% when it's on the bosses. When it's on the bosses, it's 90 to 100%. So they're going to get those dodges. And what can you really do about it? Let's uh, clean them up in this next round. Yeah, guys, I, I look at their health. I, I think I could have done it in one. Uh, maybe if I would have tagged in Jade and used her for snare. I was just one twoing though, at this point. You know, I wasn't really trying to whatchamacallit. I'm just going to go classic Liu Kang the whole bout and just let him basic attack on the death since he has luck. Um, his basic attacks aren't going to do as much as MK11 Scorpion, but I don't want to use any specials because it's going to damage me. Um, I should be able to get away with a special two now, though, even though, yeah, I should be able to get away with it now. We're low enough. So there we go. Um, I think we could have definitely done that in one. Maybe if we would have uh, snared Noob and um, well done. Chang, if we would have snared them. I think we would have been able to get them out. And then we would have just been able to easily whittle down Quan Chi. Noob was the issue with the Varan jacket, if, if, if you ask me. And the threat of them, the threat of Shang using that special two in healing and the threat of Noob using his special two to get a shadow those are the two things I'm worried about, and we did a great job timing our tags to make sure they didn't get those off. So we played really well. We just needed a little bit more damage, and the damage we needed was the damage we lost from the Varan Jacket dodges. So can't be mad about that. But we probably could have tagged in Jade, got a snare, and then locked him in and secured those kills. So not a big deal. Nonetheless, guys, Battle 200 is over. Uh, things went pretty well, and... Now it's time to claim our prize. Random diamond time. Man, cross your fingers for your boy. You knew it was coming, right? You guys knew it was coming, right? I'm sure you knew it was coming. It, it's hard to get excited about these Battle 200 wins anymore. It's pretty hard. You know, um... It's hard to get excited about these things anymore. I, I, I kind of get... I get screwed pretty hard in these Battle 200 bosses. So, um... Yeah, another Cellback. We're back in Cellback City, boys. Didn't last long. We're back in Cellback City. Ladies and gentlemen, how have your drops been? And how what did you get for Battle 200? Let me know in the comment section below. Have you guys gotten any drops yet? So far, I've gotten one epic drop, which was a Varan jacket. And what else did I get? I got um I got like three uncommon random drops, but they were all I, all my uncommons are already maxed. So no rares, uh, even the guaranteed rare at 110 was also a sellback. The only uh, not the only rare I don't have that's not maxed is the King Cobra belt. And I really like that piece. I think that's one of the best, you know, top 10 tower rares in the game. So I, I, I think that's a solid piece. Um, those cripples make a big difference and we can see it, you know, cripple is game changing. It is a huge difference maker. A lot of people don't really realize the value of classic Liu Kang. For anybody that sees me using people like classic Liu Kang, obviously, you know, everybody's hype beast seeing MK11 Scorpion, who is a phenomenal damage dealer, right? One of the best in the game. But you guys don't see me use him much because he's not really my kind of, you know, I, I'm not crazy about him, even though he's great and great damage dealer. But classic Liu Kang, I've been using since he was like Fusion 1. Anyone that follows my content would know I've been using classic Liu Kang since Fusion 1 on my boss team with Undead Johnny and Freddy. Classic Liu Kang, 
I've been using since he was a baby on my team because he's just a difference maker, man. That cripple on tag is phenomenal and he's a great brutality character. Uh, he's a great support character. And when maxed, he's a phenomenal damage dealer as well. That special two is devastating. So, you know, I'm not one of the people that use classic Luke King because he's the best character in the game. I've been using him since he was a baby, you know, since I had my baby classic Luke King. Yo, let me know in the comment section below if you have been watching my channel since I've been using classic Luke King at Fusion 1, 2 or 3. I want you to be on. Be honest. I'll go back and look through the comment section. Don't lie. Be honest. Which one of you guys has been watching my channel since I was using Classic Luke King at Fusion 1 and 2? Or 3? I'll give you Fusion 3. Anything after that? Not much because that's when I was hard focusing him. I was having so much fun playing him. I hard focused him. I shot him to the top of my list and said he's the next guy I want to max out. And then started only opening up packs to get him and Classic Raiden maxed out. So, um, yeah, man. He just goes to show you, man, you know, at the end of the day, play who you like, play who you have fun with. Some of them are going to be great. Some of them are going to be good. Some of them not so good. But at the end of the day, play the characters you like. I think that's where you get the most enjoyment out of the game. You know, there's a lot of things in the game that will take away your joy. So find the things in the game that you enjoy and that you love because a lot of things will take that away from you. All right. That's what I got from you guys today. Let me know what you guys got from Battle 200. Let me know if you guys have gotten any epic drops, any solid rare drops um, on your way to Battle 200. And let me know if you've been following my channel and subscribed to me for that long since I was playing my baby classic Liu Kang. Uh, I, I find that awesome and interesting. And if you guys do fall into that small club, shout out to you guys. Appreciate the love. Y'all know the deal. If you enjoyed today's episode, do not forget to hit that like button. If you want to show extra love, you, should, you can do so with the join button or the thanks button. Subscribe if you're new and I'll catch y'all next time with Main Mania.